Hello friends this video on introduction to trigonometry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam what we will study we will study trigonometric concepts trigonometric ratios and trigonometric identities don't get confused by the terms i'll explain this trigonometric concepts ratios and identities before we study anything let's look at why do we need trigonometry if you see there are various practical examples of trigonometry real life example for example you are standing in a tower in this place and when any ship is coming you want to know where it is how far it is you can find using trigonometry because when enemy ship is coming you know the height of this tower you know the you know the angle it makes theta and then you can find a you can create a right triangle like this and then you can find a distance we will explain all this thing in the trigonometry concept but we just try to understand that using trigonometry such things are possible you are standing in a tower one uh, boat is coming you want to find a distance of the boat or you want to find the speed of the boat itself those things also you can find using trigonometry also let's take one more example this hot air balloon is going up and you are watching here you want to find the speed of the hot air balloon you know this distance because you know how far it is standing with about distance x and then you want to find the speed of this hot air balloon such thing you can find using trigonometry because you'll have this angle which this balloon makes with you you have the distance and then you can use the trigonometric formulas to find the distance thus trigonometry has a wide implementation you want to find the height of the building you want to find uh, the height of the balloon the distance travelled by the balloon the speed of the approaching car a lot of things you can find using trigonometry having said the practical application of trigonometry let's start with the trigonometry concepts trigonometry the word goes by trigono plus metry trigono means triangle anything that has three sides and metry means measure right so trigonometry if you break this is nothing but triangle plus measure so what is triangle here triangle is nothing but any figure that has three side because triangle if you miss break it is tri plus angle that is tri angle correct trigonometry is trigono plus metry trigono means triangle triangle again is tri plus angle anything that has three angles what is angle now angle is nothing but measure of the rotation of a line about a fixed point so you have this line you rotate this about this is a fixed point fp you rotate this line about this point and you get this line this whole thing is called angle one angle it is a measure of rotation of a line about fixed point we we'll learn more about angles in the next slides what is angle you have this line initial side oa in both the case the terminal side is the side which you obtain about rotation in first case you are rotating about the clockwise anti clockwise and this case you are rotating about clockwise direction so if you see the parts of angles there is something called initial side there is something called terminal side initial side is the starting side from where you start with you this is the fixed point the fixed point is called vertex vertex at this point you rotate this you get this final side and the final side is called terminal side correct and there are two types of angle one is a positive angle and negative angle so if you are rotating in this direction that is anti clockwise direction you get positive angle if you are rotating in this direction clockwise direction get negative angles so mathematically measure of angle is nothing but amount of rotation performed for example if you are rotating this to this much only this is let's suppose angle a and in second case this uh, initial side you are rotating this much right this is angle b so if you see this in angle a the amount of rotation was less in angle b the amount of rotation is more you can see from here to here the amount of rotation is more from here to here the amount of rotation is less so we can say that angle b is greater than angle a correct thus angle is nothing but amount of rotation performed to get the terminal side from initial side you start with initial side you go to terminal side the amount of rotation performed about the vertex is called the measurement of angle 
there are two type of measures actually degree and radian measure so here we will be more concerned about degree radian measure we will learn in the uh, next class we will take some example of degree measure so let's draw 360 degree so how it is this is my line and to draw 360 degree I have to start from here this is 90 0 90 right this is again 180 this is again 270 and 360 is back to my base. So 360 is the same line. So if you draw 360, 360 is this line only. Correct. Because we know that this is 90 degree. This is 180 degree. This we know. We have done, uh, we have drawn our uh, degree measures in our previous classes. So 360 is the same line. Because when you rotate this by 90, 90, 180, 360, it comes back to the same position. This is 360. Let's draw for 180. 180, if you see, this is 90. Again, one more 90. This is 90. Again, one more 90 is this one. So, you get a straight line. So, 180 degrees is a straight line. For 270, again, let's start. This is 90. Correct? Again, um, one more 90 is uh, 180, so this will be 180. Okay, one more uh, 90 will be 270, so this becomes 270. This is my angle. So my angle is this. And this is 270. This is 90. And this is 360. Correct. I have to make 400 angle. 360 I know is same only. 360 plus 40 I have to make. So this is, three, this is 360. 360 I have to add 40, 40 will be somewhere like this. So I'll get angle like this. So this angle will be 400. Where you start with this, you go to here and you come. This is 400 degree. Similarly, minus 30, you start with the, this is the initial side. You start in this direction, 30 degree. You get this. So this is minus 30 degree. Minus 420 again. It's little difficult, I'll draw here. You start with this, you take this full down, this is minus 360, and then again minus 60. So this becomes minus 420. Correct? See, this is minus 60, and this whole round is again 360. The whole thing is minus 420. That's how we draw degree measures angle. Very simple because this is 90 we know one perpendicular is 90 and then this is 30 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again